If you know some uh, time-saving tips and tricks in Packer Tracer, you can get your things done much faster than usual. I'm going to show you some of those uh, tips and tricks in this uh, video. In this uh, logical workspace, I'm going to use the right side to experiment some of those tips and tricks, and I'm going to use my left side to build my topology. The first thing I want to show you is how to build a template when you need same kind of device multiple times. Uh, say for an example, you need a router and you go to your router section and then you need this kind of router. So you just take one of this router here and if you click on this router, these WIC cards are not present. So I'm going to insert two of the WIC cards. It says it is powered on. I cannot insert the WIC card when it is powered on. So I'm going to power power this off. Where is my power? Okay. And now I'm going to insert my WIC cards. Now I have built a template. Say if I need 10 of them, what we can do is just copy. So you just highlight it, control C, and then control V. It is going to paste everything on top of each other. So I'm going to paste multiple times. So you can double copy now. So let's try. Okay. So I'm going to bring everything down. I'm going to see how many I have. You see, I copied a bunch of them. And uh, if you look at everything, everything is going to be like the same template I built before. And if you see here, same, and you see here, same. So I'm going to delete a bunch of them because I don't need all of them. So I'm going to go to, you see, you just highlight this one and click this delete, and now you can delete. When you delete just one, this the mode is going to change to delete mode. And now you click on anything that will delete that object. But it's going to be time waste. You just delete one at a time. So you can just highlight all of them and hit this button or just hit your delete button and it will delete all of them. And now you press escape, you can come to the normal mode. So I'm going to bring it here, this one. So I have two routers and now you know how to build a template. So I'm going to go to my switch section. I'm going to build a template for my switch here. This is a multi-layer switch I need. Bring it here. And if you look at this one, this is a modular switch. I cannot power on this switch because it says device must be powered on. So I have to insert this power separately and I only need just one power supply and I'm going to put a cover plate for this one. And I want to insert some uplink module. You have to do it separately. So just uh, going to put four of them. It is not like uh, you just insert one uplink module card. It, the packet tracer works a little different than uh, real hardware. So now I have the switch template built. Now you see it is, uh, it has booted. All right, so now I need, say I need four of these switches or six of them. So I just uh, copy, control C, and I'm going to press control V five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now I can take these switches, one, two. So, okay, and one, two, and one, two. Say I need two core switches and rest of them are going to be my radial. So I'm going to place it like that. This is going to be my core and these are my radials.
Okay, I have arranged them all. And now I'm going to uh, put a bunch of access layer switches. So if you click here and click here, you can place one switch at a time. So you have to do this multiple times. But if you click control in your keyboard, press control in your keyboard and click this one, now this is highlighted, this object is highlighted. And now you come here and place as many switches as you want. So this is how you bring in same kind of multiple object very quickly into your logical workspace. So I'm not going to need all of them. So I would need uh, four, I would say, for each side, I'm going to delete this one. Okay, now I brought all the switches here. So now I want to arrange this little nicely. I'm going to arrange this one and I'm going to, now I can move all together just by highlighting. I'm going to do the same thing here. So you see how much time you can save to you know these techniques instead of dragging one at a time. And now I'm going to drag all these four. So what you have to do is just highlight them all and then just place it uh, here. And you need to just select one object. So when you highlight here, and if you click here, nowhere in an object, you cannot, uh, drag it. You just need to highlight and then you have to hold on to a device to move it. And I'm going to do the same thing here. And then I'm going to place multiple of a PC here. So I come here, uh, click control. And then I'm going to place a bunch of PCs. So each side I want six of them. All right, so I place those pieces, okay, and I'm going to adjust them. So the other interesting part is you need to know how to interconnect all these devices very quickly. So there are few options you can use. I would say two options you can use to interconnect these devices uh, quickly. So you go to your connection here, and this is automatically choose connection type. If you choose this one, you have no option to choose your desired port. It's going to automatically select your ports. So you click on this icon, and now you come and place on top of a device and drag it over to the other device. It will automatically select the port. So in here, this is going to select serial port. So if you want to see what are the ports available for you, you come and click on the arrow. When you click on an object, it will enable you to select what port you need. So you can click on this one or you can click on this one. So I'm going to bring it back here. I'm going to put it like this. Now I'm going to select other one. So I'm going to use the same type of connection and then here, you see here, it's selected gig port because it automatically know this doesn't have a serial port. So it, it went and selected gig port one, gig port here, and then gig port here. But it did not select the right port here because you know we have uplink port, that is gig 111, but it did not select that port. To select the correct port, you go here, and then you can pick the correct port. So you have to click on this link icon to reselect the port. So I'm going to do the same thing here one more time, and then I'm going to go and select the right port. Now I am going to come here and select a, a second type of connection copper straight through cable. You know the PCs and switches use copper straight through cables. So if you come here, click on a control key on your keyboard and press this one. And now 
you can select your port. So if you click on this icon, other than this one, any of this one, it will give you a choice to select your port. So I'm going to hit this one, and then in here, I have to select this one. But I did select the wrong one here. I supposed to have selected, let me escape, come back, and then select this one. And I'm going to go back here, control, and this one, and here, uh, this port. Come here, select this one, and I'm going to select this port, select this one, and I'm going to select this port. So now I'm going to come to connect these pieces. Connecting these pieces, I'm going to pick this one because I know these PCs are going to select the fast Ethernet port regardless. So that way it's going to be faster than using this one. So I'm going to hit my control and select this one. I'm going to do it very quickly. All right, so you now know how to use some of the time-saving tips and tricks uh, when you are building your topology in Cisco Packet Tracer. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future videos.